We have been living side by side with dogs for thousands of years. In fact, this is amazing fact number one. They have been our partners in our evolutionary journey since they split from the wolves 30, 40,000 years ago. We co-evolved. We became who we are today and the dogs became who they are today holding each other's hands or paws along the way. The oldest evidence we have so far is a skull of a fossil dog found in Siberia that is 33,000 years old. That's really old. We are two different species that share similar forms of communication because thousands of years ago we just fell in love. That was not that scientific, but you know what I mean. Number two, petting our dogs or just looking at them releases oxytocin, aka the love hormone. It's the same hormone that helps bond a mother and child. Studies have shown that there is an increase of oxytocin in both the dog and the owner after any interaction involving long gazes followed by stroking and cuddling. So like I said before, thousands of years ago we fell in love and we're still in love. Number three, dog's sense of smell can be from 10,000 times to 100,000 times more acute than ours. They can literally see through their nose, they experience the world by scent. Apart from explosives, drugs, etc., they can smell feelings and even ailments in humans from cancer to diabetes. They can even smell the past. When you come back home and your dog sniffs you from head to toe, it's because he wants to know where you've been and what you've been doing. Preventing a dog from sniffing someone or something he's interested in is like blindfolding in a way. Number four, dogs can sense the Earth's magnetic field. Somewhere inside them there is a hidden compass. The only thing we know for a fact that information is useful for them is... Um, Pooping. As studies have shown, dogs spin and turn before they relieve themselves because they prefer to excrete with their body aligned along the north-south axis. They just don't like the east-west alignment. What's your problem? Number five. Dogs have more than 12 separate muscles that control the movement of the ears. They can locate a sound source in only six hundredths of a second by using their swiveling ears like radar dishes. They can perceive frequencies almost twice that of human ears and they can also hear sounds approximately four times farther away than humans. One of the reasons they don't like the rain is that the amplified sound hurts their sensitive ears. Number six, dogs dream, just like we do. During sleep, the brain wave patterns of dogs are similar to that of people. Dogs dream doggy things, really, so pointers will point at dream birds and Dobermans will chase dream burglars and my dog Apollo will steal dream food off the kitchen counter and eat it while growling at imaginary dream predators. <laughs> Supposedly, dogs dream about being themselves, but that doesn't explain why my dog Laura barks in her sleep when she never barks in real life. Which makes me think that she dreams about being someone else, like a fierce guard dog or something. Or maybe she dreams about her past when she was barking behind the kennel's bars. Hmm. Number seven, the first sense a dog develops is the touch. Puppies are born blind, deaf and toothless and their entire bodies are covered with nerve endings that are touch sensitive. Once a puppy gains its sense of hearing and smell, it still relies heavily on touch throughout its entire life. Each dog may have a different level of touch sensitivity. Assuming that any dog will respond positively to any touching in any part of its body is wrong and it can be the cause of many misunderstandings. Number 8. Just one female dog, her mate and their offsprings can produce 67,000 dogs in only 6 years. Which brings us to number 9. There are estimated to be about 900, 900, 900 million, million, million dogs in the world, 80% of which are free range street dogs, and the numbers are rising, so adopt. Don't breed your pets and don't support the breeding industry in any way. It's just, it just doesn't make sense. Number 10. A fun fact about street dogs that you may not have realized. Most street dogs adapt to the life on the streets. They have their routine, they just like us, they sleep in a place they consider home, wake up in the morning, go to work, aka look for food or go off to regular feeding spots where they meet the volunteers that feed them, come back home, go to sleep, etc. 
When you see a stray dog walk as if he's going somewhere, that's because he is really going somewhere. City strays even know how to wait for traffic lights to go green, how to walk on the sidewalks, and the stray dogs in Russia have even mastered the complex Moscow subway system and literally commute every morning to get from their suburban places of living to the fat regions of Moscow's center. If we just respect them and let them be, dogs can live among us as civilians, because that's what they have evolved to do, live with us. Those were only 10 of the most amazing facts about dogs and here's the plus one I promised in the title. Meet Julie, first lady in Vienna. She's a seven-year-old Greek mixed breed recently adopted by the Austrian president Alexander van der Bellen. Yeah. Oh, look at that face. She wouldn't stand a chance if she was on the streets.